Folks, you might have a hard time believing what crazy gatherings for men, just Jamie Foxx and Diddy, have been coordinating throughout the long term. Well, we've all heard that Hollywood is set for strange stuff, yet it seems like we, some way or another, missed the report about the bare ball competitions that Jamie Foxx used to hold in his patio. It appears as though more hypotheses about Jamie are being rebuffed by Diddy. And in spite of the music tycoon best endeavors, he just sinks further under the heaviness of truth that is coming up greetings everybody. And welcome back to Celeb Live Station. So except if you don't experience the stone, you presumably understand what a bizarre spot Hollywood is. And some of the time we don't, for even a moment, get to catch wind of half of the crazy things that is happening there like this time. The insane insights concerning Jamie Foxx and Diddy First Class B-Ball Club surfaced. And let me let you know that it's implied just. And it's not the finish of the story on the grounds that clearly these men are playing stripped in the B-Ball is only a warm-up before they keep celebrating these things might definitely stand out in the event that it wasn't to the substance maker named Jem who shared a few fascinating things she had heard from grown-ups. When she was accompanying her mother to the radio broadcast Jem's recordings on TikTok, became famous online after she focused on how extremely rich and rich VIPs used to go to b-ball games facilitated by Jamie Foxx and Diddy. Anyway, Jem needed to bring all her uncovering recordings down since she got a call compromising her on the off chance that she doesn't erase the proof from her record. I got a call for somebody, and I simply need to apologize for anybody that I outraged. And in spite of the fact that Jem got truly frightened by that call, it's past the point of no return in light of the fact that the reality of the situation was at that point out. And one thing I like about the web is that nothing is lost or failed to remember here. And many individuals have seen her recordings that is the way we actually got all that she had said. Well, Jem was oak with concealing these subtleties. Yet as she admitted, she was unable to remain quiet subsequent to seeing what was ending up Jiming Fox. And obviously realizing that others incorporating superstars approached with their allegations of the music magnate. She tracked down sufficient boldness to go along with them and be vocal about a few insane things that occurred during the 90s. And as per Jem, Jamie Foxx is a colossal admirer of private b-ball games. And no one but men could get the challenge to go along with him and his companions. And here's more to say Jem referenced that there was one explicit insight concerning these games. The players must be absolutely exposed. And why I'm not amazed to feel that Diddy has a lifetime enrollment in this confidential b-ball club for elates. Since you know this man, he never misses a decent party. With appealing men as Jem, uncovered some high-profile superstars were taking an interest in those games. And if you have any desire to know the name's precisely exact thing well, really take a look at the rundown of celebs who were spending time with Jimmy Fox and Diddy in the New Year's it you will get an adequate number of hints. And assuming you're as yet dubious about the validity of this data and miracle, where she took this multitude of insane subtleties, evidently her mom shared a few obscure privileged insights, since she used to work for radio broadcasts and gem, even shared it some of the time her mother was taking her to work with her when she was just seven. And that is the way she learned about these things. Jamie Foxx never at any point remarked about his exposed ball with men, despite the fact that he over and again was expressing the amount he attempted to gain Diddy's appreciation and trust to that point that he even changed his home to make it more appropriate for the music Big Shot and his taste as Jamie expressed. I was attempting to get in music around then, so I would toss parties for an explanation. And on the grounds that Diddy was so popular in music, I had a studio in my home. He never shared the subtleties of those gatherings. Yet I figure you can undoubtedly think about what has been happening there, particularly considering the way that once Jamie Foxx had been now found by his neighbors playing naked ball in the lawn. And he even freely apologized for that and sent them gift containers 
As a method for saying I'm upset for causing you burden the entertainer is known for his affection for tossing parties at his chateau. Obviously made specific degree of distress for his neighbors when they got a brief look at his buddies shooting circles there as Jane told every one of my neighbors. I simply need to say that I'm grieved and I'm sending gift crates to you for all some unacceptable I've done we used to play bear bee ball in the back for clinical motivations to deliver the spirit a piece of my wall was down. And I didn't realize that the woman and her family was there I wasn't there at that point. Yet what got me was the way lengthy they searched for I've been watching you all for a really long time back there. I believe it should stop that is seriously mind-blowing and knowing Jamie's adoration for welcoming high-profile VIPs to his home. We can think about the thing else has been occurring there, yet you understand what the most horrendously terrible thing, you will not have the option to track down any receipts yet. I'm almost someplace certain that before have. Diddy started his mission to cleanse the web from any proof against him. And whether it's his wild gatherings, others' assertions about his real essence, or any notices of stripped ball games, everything had been eradicated anyway. It doesn't trick anybody, and many individuals, surmas that Hollywood isn't all rainbows and unicorns. And there are a ton of obscure things happening there, including killings of the individuals who cross the line as one client, composed I'm very certain they do a ton of things, while Bear and Hollywood Ball isn't the main thing, and one more client, composed of they attempted to close Jamie Foxx, and afterward other business, emerged to the light well, James is known for his cozy relationship with Diddy, and obviously he had seen, and surprisingly, partook in a ton of unusual stuff over the course of the years being in the business, in the wake of beginning a kinship with the rap head honcho, by acting like a videographer, the entryways of numerous big names houses opened for him, including lavish gatherings, did him with toss, as Jimmy reviewed those days during his meetings with Colbert. I would hang out and watch him set up parties. He set up a party and said, yo, playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. I'm like, you are insane. Well, spending in excess of one million on an end of the week slam appears to be insane for conventional individuals. Yet I'm more concerned not about the cash that he had spent, but rather his visitors as it had been expressed before Diddy had no restrictions and limits during his renowned slams. And it appears as though there were underage individuals going to these gatherings, like you recollect that story with Usher, who has been residing with Diddy when he was 14 year old. Evidently, Usher has likewise seen a few things during these, and he personally reviewed this wild experience making statements, like I had an opportunity to see a few things I went there to see the way of life. And I saw it well, it could have all been previously unheard of for Usher, and he all accepted it was an extraordinary encounter. Yet as he became older, he started to acknowledge what he needed to observe I keep thinking about whether he at any point saw grown-up men playing ball without their garments on essentially. It can make sense of why Usher doesn't dive into the existed someplace before Diddy started his mission to cleanse the web from any proof against him. And whether it's his wild gatherings, others' assertions about his real essence, or any notices of stripped ball games, everything had been eradicated anyway. It doesn't trick anybody and many individuals, surmas that Hollywood isn't all rainbows and unicorns, and there are a ton of obscure things happening there, including killings of the individuals who cross the line as one client composed I'm very certain they do a ton of things, while Bear and Hollywood Ball isn't the main thing, and one more client, composed, so they attempted to close Jamie Foxx, and afterward other business, emerged to the light well. Jamie is known for his cozy relationship with Diddy, and obviously he had seen, and surprisingly, partook in a ton of unusual stuff, over the course of the years, being in the business, in the wake of beginning a kinship with the rap head honcho, by acting like a videographer, the entryways of numerous big names houses opened for him, including lavish gatherings, did him with toss, as Jimmy reviewed those days during his meetings with Colbert. I would hang out and watch him set up parties. He set up a party and said, yo, playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. 
I'm like you are insane. Well, spending in excess of one million on an end of the week slam appears to be insane for conventional individuals. Yet I'm more concerned not about the cash Diddy had spent, but rather his visitors as it had been expressed before Diddy had no restrictions and limits during his renowned slams. And it appears as though there were underage individuals going to these gatherings, like you recollect that story with Usher, who has been residing with Diddy when he was 14 year old. Evidently, Usher has likewise seen a few things during these, and he personally reviewed this wild experience making statements, like I had an opportunity to see a few things I went there to see the way of life. And I saw it well, it could have all been previously unheard of for Usher. And he all accepted it was an extraordinary encounter, yet as he became older, he started to acknowledge what he needed to observe I keep thinking about whether he at any point saw grown-up men playing ball without their garments on essentially. It can make sense of why Usher doesn't dive into that.